So welcome back to the NetApp Cloud Lounge here at VMworld uh, 2013. Um, we're lucky enough once again to have uh, Alberto Carrilla with us from uh, our Spanish partner, Ermistel. Um, so thanks for coming along today uh, and visiting us here. Thank you too for, for receiving us here. Yeah. No problem. Hey, so I was really interested, um, you know, we, work, we see a lot of differences across Europe, um, but there's probably a few key uh, market trends that we see happening. Um, what do you see as the key market trends um, that your customers are taking advantage of and, and maybe you're leveraging as well? Okay, I think that the, the people in, in, in the market are already have utilization, but the, the next step uh, naturally is to go to the cloud. And they are trying to automatization and also in computing. And then computing is uh, it's uh, racing uh, because there are new technologies that allow us to the other projects to to come uh, more easily. And also mobile, mobile the, the mobile devices has um, a problem, huge problem that they, in the last year the people has noticed that, and now they are trying to put forth in in getting that in in church. And, and also there are many um, things with the uh, Oracle and uh, databases. They are, they are trying to uh, spend less in the supporting uh, that kind of uh, databases. So I think this will be the trend for 2014. That's great. So when, you, when you're talking to these customers and trying to take advantage of these trends, really, where does NetApp fit into the picture in terms of the solutions that you're trying to pitch? I remember that there is um, a custom this time the consume in Spain, he has developed a, a very smart uh, disaster recovery project. They have a metro cluster in the, in the main data center, and then they have uh, many storage around the Spain, and they have a, a, a needle box. It's replicated to the uh, central uh, store. So I think this allow them to not to introduce the, the business when there is a problem with the lines or with another uh, a store or whatever. Yeah, that's amazing. That's a, a perfect example, I guess. Um, so what I was wondering was um, how NetApp might help with your kind of go-to-market. Um, how do we support you and, and, and your go-to-market strategy? I think that the main issue that the, um, or the, or the main fact that you could uh, help us is flexibility. The data boxes they are very quite quite flexible. The the introduction of SAN IP, the, you can use more of the um, uh, storage with NFS protocol. It's uh, it's amazing and and this are differentiator now. So that that would help your customer to, to take their products to market faster as well. Of course, of course, uh, we will um, easily uh, uh, sell the box without asking too much details. So we can get so quickly. To, to sell the, the solution. Yeah. So have you actually got a, maybe a customer you could talk to me about, someone who, who, who's uptaken your services? Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about the um, Rey Juan Carlos University. Mm -hmm. It's a it's, um, um, huge project for end using computing. There are 20,000 people alone. They have to, um, to uh, give them a uh, um, desktop and they could uh, do it with using the FlexPod. Uh, technology with uh, Cisco, NetApp, and VMware, and um, they can do many things. And they are also uh, developing in new uh, buildings, not in the central one, sino uh, other others. Just another maybe interesting question, um, just to throw on the end here. In the market that you work in, do you find that that the kind of cloud computing environment is more predominant in enterprise? or in the smaller companies, or do you find that there's a mixture in, in terms of the customers you go after that, that are after a cloud-based solution? I think that the, the, the main issue here is that the, the people are evolving. They, they have uh, physical environments that are, are transformed into a virtual one, and then they, run, they, they have uh, some machines into a public cloud, wherever they are chosen. I think that the next step is to have a really private cloud that they be right into a, a hybrid cloud. That is the, the, the main issue that uh, you have to, to evolve into the next year. Yeah. So many customers are kind of just on a, on a road map, as you see it, and, and, and different customers will move at different speeds. Yes, in Spain it's more the, the biggest one. The, um, Spain is a special market and, and many customers, they want uh, near cloud. It's a cloud, but they want to know where the cloud it is. Oh, very good. Hey, look, thanks a lot for coming along and visiting us today uh, in, in the Cloud Lounge. Um, it's great to have you here, and it's great to see that you'll be presenting a little later on. 
Um, so we wish you the best for the rest of, of VMworld and uh, you might want to go and maybe grab a drink in the bar there perhaps. <laughs> okay, thank you too. Bye.